Hey guys, Jason Scudelari with CPP. In a previous video, I showed you our easy return fittings. They come in dash six, eight, and 10. And in 2021, our dash six easy return fitting won the NSRA product of the year award. So for our dash four easy vent, there's a few pieces here. This is actually the piece that's gonna be inserted in your tank. That's what's gonna swedge it down. It comes with the bolt that will do that for you. And if you look at this side, it's got a little step there, which your gasket will go on to before you stick it in the tank. And then we got our ORB fitting, which is ORB on one side, O-ring, and then our dash four. So first step, like I said, we're gonna drill our hole. All right, once you find the location on your tank where you wanna put your vent, be sure that you get a visual on the inside, make sure you're not going into a baffle or you know something that may be in the way. One thing I like to do is blow the shavings as you're drilling it before it protrudes through the tank. That way you'll eliminate a lot of the chips from going inside the gas tank. I actually put something in here to kind of gather how many chips actually would fall in there. It's actually very minimal, as long as you're blowing that out, but you still want to try to get everything out of there. A lot of these chips are pretty large. It's probably not going to get sucked through your sock from your filter on your pump and then through the actual filter that's in line on its way up to either your carburetor or fuel injection. It's obvious our tank didn't have any fuel in it, but yours may. It's a good idea to probably use a air drill opposed to something that carries electricity. With the hole drilled, it's a good idea to make sure you have no burrs on there. If you do, grab a little file and uh, smooth it out. Ours drilled out actually pretty cleanly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil here. Put our gasket on there. We're gonna go ahead and insert fitting in. Make sure that your gasket is around the step and not wedged in between the step and the tank itself. Hold one in with a wrench. I like to use a shallow socket. It just seems to give you a little more balance when you're tightening it up. I apply a little pressure down to keep everything kind of sturdy and straight and just start tightening it up. And you'll feel it as it starts to grab underneath. Don't overdo it and distort your gasket. But again, that step being there really helps that out. One thing I'd like to say about these fittings is we were the first ones to actually come out with these and we're really proud on the way they're designed and machined. They all may look the same, but they're not, trust me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our ORB fitting in. I put a little oil on the O-ring and these don't have to be super tight. But make sure you hold the bottom, and just snug it up. All right, so this is one example of how I'd like to use this fitting. Let's go over to our uh, car up on the lift and I'll show you some more. All right, here's some other good ideas with our Dash 4 Easy Fitting. You got your rear end you need to vent. Go ahead and take your hose, you twirl it up, zip tie it somewhere. Eh, it's not so cool. Take one of these, hit your 5 16 hole in your frame rail, pop it in there. Now it vents right into your frame rail. You can also do that with your gas tank. Some other ideas are your radiator, you want a steam line in there, you can put a little hole in your radiator, put one of these in, now you got a steam line. Um, if you're running a clutch and you only want to run one uh, reservoir, you pop one of these in there and you can run your clutch and you can run your uh, brakes. And another really cool one, which I like, is if you're running one of our hydro stops, instead of running that Y, you pop another one of these into the side of your reservoir for your power steering and you have a line goes straight to that. So here's an example of me putting one in one of our power steering reservoirs for our hydro stop. This would be a dash six where our fins are dash fours, but we also go all the way up to dash 10. When you're ready to order your classic car or truck parts, give us a call or visit classicperform.com. If you like these videos and want to see more tech, visit teamcpp.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.